Okay guys, one of the common complaints that photographers make is that they can't find sufficient inspiration to get out and take some photographs. And I thought an excellent way of kickstarting inspiration was to do a quick and fun little project in my own backyard. In a flash of inspiration, the idea that I came up with was to produce some high quality photographic desktop wallpapers. And I'm gonna shoot 10 images, hopefully, in my back garden and my front garden. And I'm gonna try and do it all within the next sort of hour or so. I've also decided to shoot all of it using just a single lens. I'm going to do it all with my Nifty 50, my 50mm Prime on my Fujifilm X-T4 camera. So I've got 10 images to find. I've already got a few ideas. Let's see how we do. Now we're lucky enough to have some very good looking plants in the old backyard here and I think they're going to serve us quite well in terms of kind of structure and pattern and the kind of things that will hopefully look good on a desktop. Some of these are going to be really quite nice. Yeah, mate, it is hot as shit out there. I've sweated right through me a nice clean t-shirt, but that was a really fun little exercise. And I do believe I've got some okay shots. What I think I might do now is hop on the old Mac, import the photos, and we'll see what we've got. All right, guys, I've cooled off a little bit. Just imported all the photos into Lightroom. What I'll do now is go through and pick out the ones I think look promising, and then we'll do some processing and uh, come up with a, a final list of desktop backgrounds. Okay, so here are the shots that I took today. What I'm gonna do is flick through them fairly quickly and hit the old P key to pick out the ones that I think are good. I'm not overly impressed with that one. That's quite nice. What's the next one like? Hmm, those are both quite good. That is the stronger one of the two. Shot of the bottle brush, didn't come out too well. I held my hands over me, top of my head with the camera to take that one. Ooh, that's a nice one. I think that's the best one so far by a mile. Love the contrast in that shot. A really dark area down here. Okay, the pool shots. Gonna do a bit post-processing on these guys, which I think we can get away with. If we're not looking for landscape integrity, we want something that will look nice on the desktop. So I'm happy to uh, get a bit slow. Either happy when I process these. Oh, 
are any of these in focus? Don't think that is. Oh yeah, so this was a shot when I was taking the, the flower shot. So I held the camera pointed directly up, uh, looking up through the trees because the sunlight was sort of shining down and the colors were so beautiful and vibrant. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? I think we might do a bit of AI removal perhaps on these. Clean that up, crop that in. That might be quite nice actually. Oh, got my foot in that one. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Took this one walking all the way to the front flower bed. Quite nice, isn't it? Beautiful bouquet in the background there. And that is lovely, beautifully sharp. So this is when I came around the side of it, went around the side so I could get the orange and the pink in there. Oh yeah, shooting through the leaves. Let's have a look. So we've got some of these stacked. So we've got this blown out area here. So I stack some shots. That's out of focus. And do a pick on that one. And the pull back shot ah the rocks these are looking pretty nice lots of stuff going on there a bit closer that is out of focus that one's also out of focus that one isn't that's better oh yeah, it's just when i've got the white stone and put it in oh it's come out quite nice actually mr snail he's come out real nice in that one okay so those are the picks now let's get the short list up on screen well i met my quota how many did i end up with there 21 i was trying to get 10 so we'll probably weed some of these out still take the list down further but let's do some processing on these i did it guys i got down to my final shots in the end i ended up with 14 images i couldn't cut the final four i just couldn't let them go so what i'm going to do now is hop onto the uh, computer again i'm going to show you the final shots i'm going to quickly go through the basic processing that i did on those shots and after all this you'll even be able to download this pack of wallpapers i'm going to stick a link in the video description for this video and you can download me 14 shots to stick them on your desktop and i encourage you to do the same and share your wallpapers with me do your own backyard wallpaper pack and let's see if we can get something going here let's get on to the mac and i'll explain what i did so here is shot one which was the big plant i shot just over the fence and we've done a little bit of light processing on here i've cranked the texture right up and dropped the clarity what else we've got here? a bit of vibrance and saturation and we've got some booster shadows drop the highlights and i crank the exposure up by about half a stop i think this works really well on the desktop i've tried all of these out incidentally on my actual desktop and they work really well so here's number two and this i have to say is i think it's my uh my favorite of all of them i've actually got it on my second screen right now it just works it's just really nice didn't do a lot of processing to this at all i don't think yeah just the texture crank, cranked up a little bit clarity with all of these incidentally i did run them through the ai enhance just to smooth everything out i don't think uh, grain works on the desktop so i denoised them with the ai enhance tool in lightroom they were all they all got the treatment other than that as you can see this very little been done to this but it works really well on the desktop third one the pool how good is this just so good looks like some kind of 1960s kind of wallpaper or something you know what i mean there's a real cool 60s vibe going on here in terms of the color and these awesome patterns and tessellations caused by the sun shining directly down into the pool and the ripples caused by the old pool cleaner moving the water surface came out really well so pleased with that one then we come on to the purple flowers now this one i did one that was close up this one i shot straight up so this is looking up through the tree and as you can see absolutely bugger all under this image basically turn the shadows up slightly and that's it shot five a nice green one again the green works quite well on the desktop i find and this one's kind of nice and fussy patterns i did do a quite a bit of work with the old clone tool removing crap around the the image there so that's three different locations there but other than that we've got the shadows turned up the white points have been turned up we've turned up the texture and clarity and not much else so that's number five 
Number six was an alternate to this one, and I just couldn't decide between them, so I put them both in. Sue me. So this was the second one, and I just really loved the textures on this. All right, kind of a couple of industrial ones. These are the, the wooden deck behind the house. I used the transform tool on this one just to get it all nice and straight. I used the guided option, drag lines down so that it's completely geometrically correct. You've got these nice lines straight up and down and did the same with this one. And also I think I stuck a color tint on this one. Let's look in the color mixer. Yeah, I did. So I selected the, the color and I just gave it this kind of mauve tint in the color mixer. Just shifted the hue slightly and bumped up the saturation for no other reason than I like it. <laughs> uh, and I did the same with the transform tool, just getting these running level across the screen so it doesn't look too weird. So then I wandered around to the old uh, flower bed at the front of the house and found this beautiful flower here. Absolutely amazing detail on this one. Because we're shooting with the 50 mil nifty 50, we've got beautiful blown out bouquet in the background. So I also said that I wanted to get some of the other colors in that scene into the shot. And so that's why I've got this one looking sort of through level but lower down through the bed we've got the pinks and the greens and the oranges you couldn't accuse this wallpaper of being quiet could you crank the shadows up bit on the white point highlights down slightly I've actually dropped the exposure very subtly uh, and that was about it with that one the vines the vineyard so I think this was we did the tone map on this yep yeah, HDR so this was three shot HDR and I did that because this was completely blown out this area up the top here and I didn't like it that way so I wanted the, sh the, uh, the sky to show through so I did the tone map and it just lovely with the Sun shining through these rapidly bronzing leaves as we come into the autumn here in New South Wales. Now I was around at the front garden and this was a shot that actually inspired this whole thing because I was sat in the front garden taking a minute looking at the hedge and I was thinking that would make a really nice desktop wallpaper with the leaves and the white flowers in there. So this was the one I chose. I took all sorts of different combinations of shot but this is the one that worked best for me. Just got the little flowers picked out occasionally in a nice beautiful sea of green. Lots of little details that you can pick out all over the place on that one. Then I was back round to the back garden again and here's my shot of the rock. So this is the, the rock that I picked out because I wanted to make it look a little bit more interesting and because this is just for a desktop wallpaper you can go a bit crazy with the old post processing and I would certainly not shy with the sliders so I cranked the texture all the way up to 95 clarity is about halfway and even stuck a bit of dehaze on there just to really kind of crank up the contrast and get this kind of gritty sort of image and then brings us to the last one the 14th shot which was the snail sat in the old uh, plant there having troughed his way <laughs> through all of this leaf he's had a bit to eat and he's taken a bit of rest he's taken his ease on the top of the plant here so guys that is my 14 shots it should be 10 i could probably wilt this down get rid of one of the wooden ones maybe and another one of the vine ones get it down to 10 it's been particularly pedantic but I thought, sod it, I like 14 of them, so we'll put them in. Anyway, this was a really fun little challenge, and uh, I suggest you give it a go yourself. Just give yourself an hour, choose one lens from your collection, and just see what you can shoot in the backyard. It's just a bit of fun. Just finding some cool stuff that you might want to stick on your computer monitor as your desktop wallpaper. All right, guys, I do hope you did enjoy this little video. If you did, please give it a like. Remember to subscribe to my channel as well for more content like this, and I will see you the next time. Ta-ta.